Hey, welcome back to my channel. Popping on to finish up this video series on the collages on the book covers. And I wanted to show you how I do my dry lay um, phase. I just take a piece of regular tracing paper. You could use acetate, anything that you can lay down on top of the book cover and see through. And I just choose from the pieces that I showed you in the previous video and uh, lay them down until they look good to me. There is a rule of thirds in art composition. It's supposed to be a third and a third and a third and a third. Um, on something this small, when I want to use this many pieces, it's kind of hard. I try to keep it in the back of my mind, but I really truly just kind of go for what looks good to me and hope that it looks good to you too. So this is what I have so far and I've decided to make this into a series of three collages. So I have the other half of the red book cover and I have a green one. So I'm going to do three that will have a similar look. They have a lot of the same components in them, but the composition is different. So the reason that I do this with the tissue paper is so that once I have it to my liking, I can slide the tissue paper off the cover. And then if I want to put something down on the background, if I want to gesso it or put matte medium or stencil or whatever, I choose to do, I can do that and with the the collage elements on the tracing paper right in front of me, I can see where my open areas are which kind of will guide me a little bit when and if I put down anything in the background. In this case, <clears throat> because this is so small that works better I think on a larger scale. I'm going to keep this background as just this toned paper and after I get the elements collaged on then I can use um, my pit pens or I can drip some paint down if I'd like. I'll do some um, other further embellishments after the components are glued down. So I'm going to go ahead and get those glued down and then see where we want to go from there. And then for the other two, I will film bits and pieces of the process as I go through doing those two because it's exactly the same as this. And I'll just speed through those and then you can see the three finished pieces at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get stuff glued down. I wanted to mention a couple of precautionary things. If your book corn cover corners are frayed or rubbed off, just take your Liquitex matte medium and go all around the edges and just kind of push it down and round it over, pushing down any frays or um, covering the cardboard that might be poking through just to give it a little more stability. And along the cut edge, if you have enough of the book covering left to come over that edge. This one pretty much does. I don't know if you can see right there. It's kind of not. So I just put some matte medium underneath there and push that down just so you don't have any loose edges. The other thing that I like to do is again take the fine sandpaper and go over the book cover surface because they can get really dirty. They may not look dirty. They might just look like it's toned paper, but there is a, probably a decent amount of dirt on it. And the fine sanding paper will help get a lot of that dirt off. And then just use a baby wipe, blow it off with your heat tool or your hair dryer, and just lightly tack it off with a baby wipe. And then that way when you put your collage elements down with your matte medium, you're not picking up dirt and getting dirt smeared around on top of your collage elements or onto your backer. 
So just wanted to mention those two things as a extra precaution before you start gluing your things down on your substrate. Everything is glued down before I started, after I slid my tracing paper and collage elements off, I just went around the edges, especially the bottom cut edge, just with a fine sanding sponge just to s smooth out any bumps or um, take off any loose paper where I cut the bottom right here. <clears throat> and then I took a charcoal pencil and went around the inside just to create a little bit of a border and then just with a wet, a small wet brush, activated the charcoal to give it kind of an aged, darker inner border. And then to put down all the collage elements, I used matte medium, the Liquitex fluid matte medium for the thinner papers and for the thicker papers, the matte super heavy gel that works best for like the book spine pieces and the paper dolls that are on a little bit heavier paper. And then I just, you can use a credit card. I use my color shaper. After I put each piece down, I just smooth it out with the um, color shaper. You can use an old credit card. Anything with a hard edge that will push any bubbles out and smooth the papers down to make sure it has good contact with the substrate. So that's where I'm at right now. Those are the supplies that you would need if you want to give this a try. And uh, I like this one. I'm going to do some more on it after it dries, but I'm going to set it aside to dry and I'm going to start working on getting the collage elements down on the other two book covers. So I'll be back. So what I'm doing here is just getting ready to weight these down so they dry flat. Um, you can use the plastic coated freezer paper, butcher paper, I think is what it's called outside the U.S. Um, I just put it on this cutting mat because it makes it easier to move them. But I put one down, put the plastic coated side against that so it doesn't stick. You can also use waxed paper, just regular kitchen waxed paper. Put the next one down, put another sheet on top of that, and then I will put a real heavy book on this and let it sit for a few hours until it's dry and nice and nice and flat. And I'm going to work on the last one now. I found this cool piece of glassine paper in the front of a very old book from the 1800s. I can't believe it has survived. I don't know if you can see the pattern. Little squares and then little dots. Pretty cool. I'll do something with that. Okay. 
I'm going to work on this one. I'll speed this up again. You saw me kind of fussing with those strings. I really wanted those on there. And I had to just tap the matte medium on top. And I did get like some heavy lines of glue that I really didn't want on there. So I kind of went back and cleaned that excess glue off just by kind of brushing lightly back and forth and smoothing that out. So I think these were really fun, um, a very economical project, and I really like the way they turned out. So I'm thinking about mounting these on mat board. I have mats that are already cut, but that's not what I want, but we might be able to get an idea rather it would be mounted on a piece of mat board like that and then the mat board can just get popped into a frame and I have a great piece of wall art and then I want to do a little bit of mark making on these before I call them done but we're getting there I decided to mix some gesso with some mat medium and kind of push some of these edges back and some of the papers that were really, really white. I just want to unify this just a little bit more so each piece doesn't stand out quite so much. What the matte medium does is makes the just will be not quite as opaque. So you can see through it, and then I'm just dabbing it back with a baby wipe.
Okay, now I want to add some drips. This could be kind of scary, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to put some of this high flow acrylic on my mat. This is shading gray. It's a transparent gray by Golden high flow acrylic. And I'm going to take a round brush and a decent amount of water. And let's see, let's try some here. And it's going to catch those strings, which is kind of cool. I'm going to take it right off the bottom. And there we go. So there is the series. I think I'm going to do some mark making and then call them done. So let's see what we feel like doing in that regard. Actually, I'm going to hit them each with the dryer first to make sure they're good and dry. I think I'm just going to start with my mechanical pencil and just Make some random marks here and there, holding my pencil back far on the barrel and just don't want to overdo it, but I want to do it. A little. Just here and there. So that's it guys, my three collages on book covers.
So I think it's a pretty awesome series. I'm really happy with it. I will probably get these mounted on mat board and uh, frame. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and go make some art. Bye.